Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my June beauty favorites. So, yeah, let's just get started. Um, I have a few things. I'm not going to lie, I've been a little off and on with makeup since summer vacation started, which is not surprising, but what I have been wearing, I've been loving. So, yeah. First, I'm going to start with face stuff, and the first thing I have, I actually got in my glam bag. It is the Philosophy Take a Deep Breath Oil-Free Moisturizer. So, yeah, it just sort of comes out in like a little blue tint, I guess. Ah! Didn't mean for that to happen. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, it's just a little sample size, but I've been liking it a lot since I got it, and... Yeah, it's a really nice moisturizer for the summertime because it is so hot where I live, like, heat wave hot, so, yes. Um, second for face, I've been loving peach blush lately, and my favorite peach blush is the Physician's Formula Blushing Peach Mosaic Blush, and it just looks like this. You can see I've hit pan on it. Um, so, yeah, I like it. It's a really nice peach color. Um, so, yeah, and peach goes well with bronzer, which also happens to be my next favorite. Um, again, I've just been loving peach, blush, and bronzer in general, not a specific type. I'm just showing you my favorites of the ones, like, general favorites. And it's the Tarte Amazonian clay bronzer in Park Avenue Princess, which just looks like this. Not really the best bronzer in the world if you don't like shimmer, but I don't really mind shimmer too much, um, as long as it's like not actually chunks of glitter. So, yes. Next, let's get on to eye stuff. I have been loving two different ways to do my eyes this month, and... One is a tutorial I believe I've already uploaded um, with Urban Decay's Foxy, which is right here, in the lid and on the brow bone and Urban Decay's, Urban Decay's Tease in um, the crease. And those colors just look like that. So... Yeah, Tease is a nice muted brown color, and Foxy is like a matte, um, I don't know what it is, a matte cream, that's what it is, a matte cream, <laughs> sorry. Next, I have an eyeshadow duo from Hard Candy, which you can find at Walmart. I don't think they sell this duo anymore, because I haven't seen it, but they have one similar to it called High Maintenance, and it is in the shade Peace, and as you can tell, it is dirty because I've had it that long and it's just like this um, a shimmery tan color and a shimmery brown which are pretty pigmented I like them they're a little they can be a little hit and miss sometimes when you put them on your eyes but um yeah so they're not too bad and next I have another product from the glam bag um, and that would be the Marbella Permanent Eyeliner Pen. And I used this today um, along with eyeshadow that I think I will be doing a tutorial on at some point, probably when it's not as hot because wearing makeup when it's hot is not the funnest thing in the world. But anyway, this is the Marbella Permanent Eyeliner Pen and it's just in black and you know, black with the tip like that. So, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's an eyeliner pen. I've tried eyeliner pens before, but they were really cheap ones, like the e.l.f. one that's like $1. Um, but I really like that. And I've heard that um, the NYX one and the one by Jordana is also really good, as well as the NYC one. So I may try those when I'm running when I run out of that one because I really like it. Next I have a lip product and it is one lip product, again also from the glam bag. You'll 
begin to notice that a lot of my favorites I do find in the glam bag. That's why I do keep subscribed to it, even though some people don't like it or something like that. I find that I like a lot of the products that I get in the glam bag. Actually, I think everything that was in this month's glam bag, yeah, is one of my favorites. So, yeah, and this is just the NYX Round Lipstick in the shade Georgia, which I believe I also showed while doing my um, tutorial using those Urban Decay shadows. And it just looks like that. Looks really nice with a tan or bronzer, which is gives the same effect, so you know. Next, I have some nail products. A favorite nail color is by the brand Confetti, which you can find at CVS, and it's called Belle of the Ball. And it's just a really pretty lavender purple. I'm loving it a lot, and yeah. Um, I've been liking a base coat that I found at Sally's called Instant Artificials. Um, it's really... It makes your nails sort of grow faster, <laughs> so I like it because my nails tend to be temperamental. And then also a top coat, which is the out the door top coat, which is super fast drying top coat for nails. So, yeah. And then last but not least, no, not last, sorry. Um, second to last, hair products. Um, I've been loving two things lately. One of which is the John Frieda Frizzy's Dream Curls Curl Perfecting Spray. Which just comes in like a little spray bottle, you know, sort of self-explanatory. Um, what you do is you shake it up, you spray it in your hair. What I do, I did not use this today. What I do is I tend to take showers at night because I take such a long shower that I don't usually have time in the mornings to take a shower. So I will take a shower at night and then when I get up in the morning I'll like re-dampen my hair by like running water through my fingers and like running my wet fingers through my hair. Then I'll spray this in and scrunch it in and it will not give the same effect as this which is what it looks like when I wash my hair in the mornings. But it will give a nice enough look that I can wear my hair down <laughs> without taking a flat iron to it in the mornings. And yeah. Um, next hair product is... Again, the glam bag. It's the Living Proof No Fridge Nourishing Styling Cream. This little thing. Um, I haven't really noticed a cutback on frizz when I use it. However, because my hair is very temperamental, it um, I've noticed it does curl up easier without having to use a product in it um, with that. Like if I put that in my hair after I... Um, I wash it at night, I'll wake up and my hair isn't as crazy, but it doesn't necessarily cut back on the frizz. Um, so, yeah. And then, last but not least, I have a favorite fashion item. Sorry, it's me trying to pick it up with my foot. <laughs> um, and they are a pair of sandals, which, yeah. Um, they're just, you know, thong sandals with the little braided detail and a rhinestone right there. I love these. I've had these for several years. Um, like since before I started high school and I've just graduated. That's how long I've had those things and I just having them having been loving them recently. Um, they're good to have. They're comfortable but they don't really have art support so not the best when you're shopping which I keep forgetting. <laughs> But they're, they're cute and they're comfortable as long as you're not walking around all day. And they go with a lot of outfits. So I've been loving those this month too. So yeah, that is my beauty favorites. And after you watch this, check out my random favorites if you like. So yeah, bye.